Welcome back everybody to Water Player Concussion Sub Series. We are continuing to bring superb content for you. As you know, we cover the cricket series, we do quiz sessions and we do exclusive interviews with all the cricket celebrities and people associated with cricket. Today we have a very special guest uh, from India, Vijay Alva sir, whose association with cricket is quite fascinating and interesting. The kind of work he does you guys will be intrigued so this is a must watch episode stay until the end and let's see what we learn from it welcome vijay sir we are very privileged to have you on our show if you can tell our viewers thank you very much what is your background and how your association with cricket is that will be much appreciated yes, thank you so much uh, suman i'm so happy to be associated cricket yeah and is a famous quote of tony greg when uh, Sachin played his great innings. This program was introduced to me by my student from Texas College Kalyanpur. I am very thankful to him and also I am very delighted to be associated with the program. And uh, my journey uh, goes long. I am the second son of Billy Paddy, Sridhar Alva and Setibetu Sharath Alva. He is a town in Karnataka, Utpi district, and my father hails from Puttur, which is at Dakshin Kannada, Mangalore. And uh, my family, uh, cricket has come into my blood. All my my father and, and all his uh, brothers, uncles have played uh, cricket, uh, Ranji Trophy cricket, first class cricket, and their service to Karnataka cricket and uh, Indian cricket is noteworthy. Uh, presently, I am working at uh, SMS PU College, Brahmavara, which is the Udupi district of Karnataka. I am teaching a subject called Sociology. I have represented uh, Mangalore University in all levels and also was a captain of Mangalore University. I have the privilege uh, to tour uh, England and East Africa uh, with Brijesh Patel with the Karnataka State Cricket Association Mangalore Zone. I'm a certified coach and a qualified umpire and also selector for uh, Mangalore University, Manipal University. And presently, I am running a private academy called Bellipadi Alvas Cricket Academy at Brahmavara, where around 100 players or the uh, trainees are uh, training under me. That's awesome. That is what a journey, sir. So, from a player to an empire to coaching, and then now to an academy. That is great. So, where did your cricket association start? Is it your family, or how did you connect with cricket? Definitely, is my with my family. I think I always like to remember my brother Ajay Alva, who himself is a Bangalore University a player. Presently, he is at uh, is working in the software at uh, East Africa, and he was the person who had identified me. I also remember, placed on record, one of my childhood coach, A.K. Garg, Daljit Singh, who taught me uh, basics of cricket uh, when I was 6th or 7th standard. And uh, my education was at uh, uh, Bihar, where my father was employed for Steel Authority of India Limited. He captained uh, uh, East Zone and Orissa and also played for Railways. So there my cricket uh, began. And then it uh, continues uh, till today. And present, presently, recently, I happened to uh, represent Karnataka Veterans Masters at Chennai. And also, I have been selected uh, to represent South Zone in the All India Veterans Tournament. I think due to the uh, pandemic, I think the tournament has been postponed to next month. Excellent journey, sir. So, for advice for cricket fans, everybody wants to play cricket, right? But not everybody gets an opportunity, not everybody is lucky. But some of them would want yeah. to do coaching or some of them would want to become empire. So where should they start? What is your advice to people if they want to go to coaching or empiring? What are some of the things they need to do from your experience, please? I, I, I always uh, like to point out four things. One is that they have to enjoy and they have to make friends and to learn skills and ultimately they have to win. These are the four uh, uh, things that they have to 
to to remember they we they we have to be passionate we have to enjoy whatever uh, bit that we do automatically the results follow and i am a great follower i am a firm believer when the process is uh, good always uh, results uh, will be excellent that's great how do you become a certified coach uh, national cricket academy they run uh, seminars for o level level 1 level 2 uh, and uh, mangalore zone also have got coaching so through that through process of certain experience they call we go there uh, may not be, uh, some get qualified theoretically some are unqualified but uh, that does not matter that passion towards the game i think will take you for high level that's great sir that's and great. also as far as umpiring is concerned we have karnataka state has got a, a cricket umpiring fraternity called association of cricket umpires karnataka is uk which have got hundreds of umpires uh, over seniors and juniors we have a empire family we try to deal, we try to discuss the new icc rules the playing conditions of karnataka the uh, the kca league and it helps us to to get educated get information and spread out whatever new amendments come into cricket that is so cool and what tell us more about your academy sir for for our people on our channel what is your academy what exactly is your goal and be vision for your academy my academy is called as bellipadi alvas cricket academy and very properly called as baka and it is situated in a very sleepy town of bramavara udupi district uh, around uh, 100 students are uh, uh, taking training and it is a, a baka is the it's a family trust and i am a part i am a just a coach of the academy the vision is to take the kids to the next level uh kids from rural background you cannot imagine suman you know uh they come uh, where they have got no proper infrastructure no we take uh, we play lot of matches uh we uh, for under 14 under 16 under 19 under uh 23 under 25 boys are representing mangalore zone few have a few are playing inter 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 club matches Uh, many have represented uh, uh, Mangalore University. I can name few between Satish, then Santosh Gowda, and a few are in the ranking and for under 11, under 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 19 called uh, Pranam Acharya, who is a wicketkeeper bat. We have got Tabish Sheikh, uh, we have got uh, Deeraj Yu, and also in the little bit senior you go, we have got uh, Shushant Mendan. They are all doing well, and uh, definitely they will make proud. the state of karnataka and not and india in particular lot of credit to you sir you are spending lot of time with the youngsters to groom them coach them uh, talk us True. talk to us about the facilities you have in academy what kind of facilities do you provide yes uh, i am i am in a in a, in a uh, school campus called chetna high school mabukala it is a it is high school campus i say it has got a grant in aid and then we have got uh, two astro turf uh, with the with the with the concrete and one center wicket and we play lot of uh, uh, matches there uh, with the inter club matches and also we have appointed one strength and conditioning coach called dr uh, varun uh, he tries to uh, give lot of inputs to make the boys uh, physically and mentally strong Wow! At this young age, you are spending time with the boys on the mental fitness also, because a lot of times in coaching academy, they focus on technique, they focus on physique, they focus on exercises and warm up, but they forget the mental fitness aspect of it. Why is it important, sir? Why is it important for mental fitness to be part of the coaching unit? Because I, I believe that in cricket, around ninety percent is you no know, mental fitness. no mental not i and i think we like to play cricket in four areas uh, suman one is uh, no technical tactical physical and mental and i give lot of importance to mental aspect because no that is the only way that you can you can become strong you can you can perform well because all the aspect is something called how you try to visualize things you know and then when you try to visualize things you know and automatically some mental stability helps you to take you know, uh, to uh, to go to the 
longer or higher grade of cricket fantastic that's a great point you made visualization not just in sport in anything we do if we visualize we will be better prepared in either achieving the goal or completing the task etc so kudos to you sir and what's the process of joining your academy if somebody has to join how do you do the selection process of your academy now as of now uh, we are not that selective because you no know, students come from very far off places and uh, we we are open uh, an entire week uh, saturdays and sundays uh, we give more importance to the sub junior level and uh, weekdays from monday to uh, friday in the we are open in the morning around you know 5:45 we start our session till 8 and then in the afternoon we come at 4 o'clock and we extend till 6 6 o'clock that's great that's great how many matches did you do umpiring in sir in your career uh as no as mangalore zone a in inter zone yes inter zone of uh, karnataka state cricket association i have done lot of matches and then again now i have to know what happens is i have to go to from from our i have to travel to bangalore now i have given more importance to coaching to coach lot of seminars we conduct from the academy to increase the standard of of cricket and we we call qualified coaches umpires from from the uh, state who are who are doing duty for mangalore zone and among the few i can name we have got kasturi uh, balakrishna pai one of very very senior most Uh, empire who comes here quite often you have got santosh suratkal who also comes you no know, who you no know, he shows lot of videos and they also we also he also gives lot of situations uh, to the aspiring empires uh, so that you know they can also uh, come up and and take it as a career that's excellent sir that's excellent and from cricket point of view uh, men's cricket always gets the front seat on everything we are doing what is your view it does your academy encourage women cricketers to join in what is your view about women cricket uh, we do encourage i know all of you know that uh, women cricket is doing very well uh, in our academy also we have got quite a bit uh, few uh, girls from different age uh, playing we have got another close by we have got another academy Uh, called KRS Cricket Academy. My friend Uday Katpad is also training a lot of women uh, players. A girl called Chaitra. She has always represented the Karnataka state women. And also many uh, women uh, coaches come here, like Mamta Memon. Recently, we had Syed Kirmani uh, visiting our academy. And then uh, uh, I have got the credit of uh, uh, to be the first coach and. Uh, selector of mangalore university women's team along with my friend uday katpadi and we, we 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 took the girls to the south zone and our women's team is is doing very well, well in the in 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 the south indian tournament that's excellent to hear so that is excellent to hear that you're part of also the selection committee uh, in mangalore for women's cricket that's awesome what are some of the plans for your academy in the next Two three years. What are you thinking? How are you expanding? Are you are you looking to get only in your area selections, or are you expanding for other districts of Karnataka to be able to have access to your academy? Yes, we have. Uh, we like to you know. We have. To, I have got plans to own a own land. I don't know. It is my dream, uh, so that we can have infrastructure. Very important infrastructure. We should have. Which I want to have turf wicket, so that the uh, the kids get used to it. used to it and also as as of now i like to have lot many coaches coming and also have to have online uh, classes for for cricket coaching and uh, with this with this few ideas of mine and definitely uh, boys can can do well and uh, and come out in flying colors thank you so much sir this was fantastic speaking to you we got to know a lot about your cricketing career your academy we would wish to bring you back one more time uh, in another show to talk deeper maybe you know if you have your star cricketers or upcoming uh, academy cricketers you think are ready to come on our channel we are more than to more than happy to host them as well sir thank you very much so nice of you 
I wish as a great program and hope this uh, the, this program will g- reach great heights. Thank you, Thank Suman, you. for uh, for interviewing you and wish you all the best. Thank you for your time, sir. Thank you all the best for your academy, and we'll be in touch with you. For folks who are so watching, much. drop us a comment, drop us a like if you like the content, and follow Vijay sir on Facebook, and we will stay in touch with his journey about his academy. Thank you for watching, and see you later. So nice of you. Thank you very much.